Siamo nel nord della Francia, sull'île de Noirmoutier, e qui si sta svolgendo una delle... We're in the north of France, on the island of Noirmoutier, where the Barracuda Tour is taking place, which is a fishing competition, where 20 French fishing for sport crews compete against each other or using the same type of boat, the Barracuda 7. Today, we're looking forward to jumping on board to try out this 150 horsepower driven Suzuki engine in the Atlantic Ocean. Queste acque non sono mai tranquille. Ecco perché usano volentieri una barca come questa. The sea is never calm, which is why I'm happy to use a well protected boat like this one. With its cabin, it's still very bright and you've got 360 vision. Windows all over, there's even a sunroof. Un'altra cosa interessante è che c'è una porta sul lato destro e una sul lato sinistro. Another interesting thing is that there's a door on the right and one on the left, as well as a counter at the stern, so you can talk with the fishermen. Exchanging ideas on how to steer the boat, especially when you're fishing with a net. But right now there's a spinning competition in full swing, something quite different. And we've stopped and we're throwing the bait in. With a boat like this, you can stay out all day, even all night if you want. There are three comfortable places, and two people can even lie down in the cabin. Well, one needs to stay at the helm on guard, and then below deck there's even a space for a toilet. This outboard has a four-stroke engine with four-valve twin-cam cylinders. This really is a remarkably large cubic capacity. 2,867 centimeters cubed is the most simple and intelligent to create power and torque, especially on a boat like this with its pretty big, wide hull. And all in all, it has some pretty heavy tools on board, so it needs an engine with a bit of oomph. Questo motore ha poi un'altra interessante caratteristica, un rapporto di riduzione di 2. This engine has another interesting characteristic, a 2.5 reduction ratio, which means that the propellers turn two and a half times less than a crankshaft. So it's like using a lower gear in a car, perfect for a boat like this. I francesi sono molto bravi nel realizzare questo tipo di barche per la pesca sportiva. The French are very good at making competitive fishing boats like this because they use them so much. And then the Beneteau is a well-respected boat maker. So everything that you see, everything on board, has been studied by someone who actually uses the boat, by sporting fishermen. Look at the walls, for example. How high are they? How well are they protected? They go up to the Bassino dock. And this is an important security measure for those that stay out even when the waves are particularly high. And then there's a handrail that makes the wall even higher. Even the stern is relatively protected as this area it encloses. The fishing rod carrier can be taken apart so you can trim and put the outboard in a tilt position, i.e. leave it with the propeller out of the water when you're rowing the boat, for example. It's not the most attractive looking boat, but they fused wood to make the internal areas look more attractive. Outside, though, it's pretty functional and practical. It's incredible that a boat this long has so many lockers in the cockpit, and of course, there's a tub for live bait. Even the dolphin striker was built to function. Look at the winch and the anchor, which are well visible so you can control them and see that they are well set, just in case they haven't held. If the sea is choppy and they've moved, for example. The winch is big too because, as the fishermen know, they like to get as close as they can to the rocks and you need a lot of power to put the anchor away. The Barracuda 7 is a substantial boat, few frills, but everything you need to go fishing. È lunga 7 metri e 39 centimetri ed è piuttosto larga, 2 metri e... It's 7.39 meters long and pretty wide at 2.64 meters. The deck house is important but not too weighty. The entire boat, to put it into context, weighs 1,800 kilos. It only needs 150 horsepower, which in this case is a Suzuki. È un'imbarcazione che può trasportare fino a 8 persone ed è omologata nella categoria CE-C. It can carry up to 8 people 
and is in this case the CE category as a C. This means that it comes with the security that it can go up against 20 to 25 knots of wind and waves up to 2 metres. It's not that scary out there today, but there are some waves. Here, for example, they're about 60 centimetres. There's a good V at the front, like seagull's wings, another of the world's great fishermen. They are there so you can go into the waves and then deflect them away, lower, so that the cover is always dry, more or less. Anyway, even if the waves do manage to come up, we're protected by the windscreen. We're cruising pretty easily at 4,200 revs and 20 knots, so let's go a bit faster, shall we? The engine can do up to 6,000 revs a minute, so we can push up to 4,800 no problem and hold this speed for hours and hours. At 4,800 revs a minute, watch out for that nice high wave. We've gone well over it and we're going 25 knots. OK, there's a little bit of spray on the windshield, but we've got windscreen wipers too. It's so well kitted out, ready for the unknown and the toughest conditions. In the middle of the boat, there's a keel that keeps the boat en route very well, and not having to adjust the wheel at the helm. Towards the stern, though, this keel completely disappears, so that the water gets to the propeller and it's perfectly clean, so the propeller works better, pushes better, without any cavitation. This motor, inoltre, has a double system of aspiration of the air. As well as all this, this has an engine that has a twin air intake system. It has longer connectors needed when you sail slowly to beef up the torque, and shorter connectors that come into play when it's going fast. So the intake is direct, more ready, faster. There's an electric valve to activate whichever one you choose. Okay, adesso però. OK, now though, having gathered some confidence with the boat, let's push it to the max. Up with the trim and voila! We'll see the GPS is beginning to rise up. It's not budging from the route and I don't have to correct it at all. The waves are quite high too. But cutting across them, I keep control just as well. Right now, I'm going to take it starboard. 30 knots. And we can probably do more. Let's try. 5,500 revs and 32 knots. This seems to be the top speed of the Barracuda 7 with its 150 horsepower. So I ask you, why does a fisherman need such a fast boat? Maybe you don't know that fishermen like fast boats because that means they can go where they want to and fish faster. And then, if it's a competition, they want to have more time to get their nets down. Barracuda 7, with this motor, is a barca versatile. The Barracuda 7 is a versatile boat. You can go slowly, even trawl, with a net. 1,000 revs, 3.5 knots with the trawl function, which you can very accurately control your minimum speed with, or you can go pretty fast. But the only thing left to try is how to actually fish. And if you are actually a fisherman, well, you need to try out the Barracuda 7, maybe in one of the competitions that Beneteau organise.